Pistons and Pacers. And the Pacers will take it first. Yeah, it was just big for them finally to get that first win. I mean, this is a team that had so much success in the tip-off. You knew a win was going to come at some point in time. Now it finally came, and Gooners changed his jump shot. Oh, maybe that'll change things. A lot of the guys changed their jump shots this week based on the meta. And there's a good hit from the outside. Ramo. Reverse jam. Oh, my. Is constantly evolving. When it comes to 2K, archetypes are everything. Wolf. Rux. Gets it to Ramo. And Ramo with a reverse jam. Wolf at the free throw line. Gets it down to Frosty and one. Biggest lead of the game for the Pacers. You see here, Wolf gets into right position. Two players on him. Goes straight up. Nice little filet. Ramo. Gets it to Rux, and he gets his shot. Rejected on the way up. Tucker. Running rimmed around. Timeout. Pistons. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's listen to the Pacers. Let me see, let me see stats real quick. Largest lead of the game, it's nine. All right, guys, thank you. It's the uh, halftime show powered by Alien, where you can see the Pistons there. Little huddle session there. They've got some work to do. Pacers looking good, man. Got that first win of the season last week. Looking to improve to two and four on the season at the break. Pacers up 35-28 as we come high above here for the halftime show powered by Alien. Where Pacers, good job by those guys, out to a good lead, up by seven at the break. And they talked about it, getting out to a fast start early on. They wanted to kind of stomp them out and kind of let and remind the Pacers or the, or the Pistons know that, hey, you lost that last game. Don't let them get going. And uh, they've gotten out to a good job. And you look at the Pistons. Hey, DeWan came out with those Jordans, the Sevens. They're looking for blood. They wanted to be some Sharks. Early on, they looked pretty good. Faulted, they're late in the second quarter. They're down by seven, but they still have 12 minutes left. Let's show the highlights here of the first half. Powered by Alienware. First quarter, it was a one-point game. A little back and forth there. Patriots got it going. Wolf, Swizzer. How about Gooner knocking down a three? Wolf also hit a three. They were two for three from downtown. Only shot three threes. A lot of the work being done inside for the Pacers. Wolf doing a good job. You look at Tucker, Frosty. Remember Tucker coming off that 33-point game last week. And I know the Pistons want to try to attack him. You saw those guys and DeWan and those guys talking about him during uh, a timeout. But here's a guy that he showed last week that he can definitely ball with 33 points. If you're the Pistons, you got to get Rux going. And Ramo, you know he's going to do his thing. I'm so far ahead with five. Splash King. Little shaky still there, no points. 0 of 3 from downtown there. Pistons still in this ball game. Turnovers about even. Boards right now being controlled by the Pacers. A lot of energy early. Look, they look good. They're ready to keep rolling. You start, you, you know, you talk with Cody, and Cody made it very simple. We want to get Wolf. We want to get Swizzerk and Gunnar going. And those guys so far, they've combined for 23 for the Pacers. Pacers up seven as we begin the second quarter. Let's go down to the second half. Let's go down to the Intel analyst desk. Scott Dirt, guys, let's go. How much we're passing the bar, how much we're getting it. And that's something they definitely have more of. Rux. Old Teddy Ruxpin. Rux. Ramo over to Insanity. We got a three-point game. Wolf. And Tucker gets it to go. Hung on the rim and fell. He's got 12. Had their team president of the entire organization was here last week. Frosty with a big jam. Coast to coast, finds Tucker. Lays it off to Frosty. Sharing is caring. Final shot of the third quarter. 
Ramo will just glide in. No one stopped him. Always being on that build is definitely going to be something to watch out for. Five point deficit. Rocks! Two hands. 8 30 45. Boy, almost went down for Wolf. Tries it again. This time, nothing but nylon. And that's going to prompt Piss and GT to take a timeout with five minutes left in this one. The biggest things starting to get a lot of those rebounds, those second chance points, too, when they're going down with the paint mashing. Swizzer! That's a big three. He's a top shooter for a reason, a big reason, a part of the Still Trill success in 2K17. And Tucker, that's a grown man ball. He's got 15. And Frosty's still giving him the business. Anybody who's been able to watch him play. Now, even if you don't play that six man, you're just at a disadvantage only having five on the roster. This is going to be big here. I mean, you. Drain the clock down this much. Don't let him get a score. If you go back on the other end and get a bucket, it's only a one possession game. Gooder! Oh, man, what a shot. Gooder just stood up for the first time I've ever seen. All alone as Tucker locks up and one. And a big lapse there. And there's Tucker from the free throw line. And that's how this one will end. 69-63. Pistons with a few points in garbage time, but it was really all Pacers in this one. They took the lead and kept the lead, and they get their second win in a row. Let's go up top to Larry Ridley. No, not out in uh, California where he calls his home. He's now hanging out in Indiana. Back-to-back -back wins for this guy. It's got to feel good because you guys were on a four-game losing streak to start the season, but some things change, and now you guys are having some success. Yeah, you know, um, like you said, we were on a four-game losing streak, so we weren't afraid to make um, adjustments, and that's what we did. And uh, shout-out to Wolf, you know, stepping it up at the point guard. It's been great. Yeah, we've seen a lot of teams make that change to get that primary ball handler over at the one you guys have had success. Take a look at your highlights here brought to you by Intel, your performance of the game. And you, you were on track. You probably didn't care. You probably didn't notice. You were on track for a triple-double at one point. Came up just shy. Yeah, I'm usually I usually try to do everything on the court. I don't try to just score or get rebounds or assists, but it happens that way sometimes. And then when I'm in a position to do so, as you see, I throw the nice ahead pass to Tuck. Um, we really got a lot of chemistry down low, and I like to pass back. And Wolf was hitting shots today; it helped well, tremendously. You, yeah, we talked about the big change with Wolf going to the one, but you, you know, you go into the five, Tucker going to the four, and you guys still blocking shots. You had seven in total. Here's your stat line: 13 points, nine rebounds, eight assists. For the 30-year-old out of California, what's it like going from California to Indiana? Oh, that's beautiful, man. Uh, I love experiences. So, you know, from Cali, nothing's better than Cali. But Indy's, <laughs> Indy's been a second home. People are really uh, nice there and friendly. And um, I've enjoyed my time there tremendously. Our audience is from New York. You know that, right? Most of them. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want you to start any fights when we get out there. But have some pride in the state, some pride in this team now. They won two in a row for Indiana Pacers gaming. Back up to Larry.